what you're going to learn about yourselves after you, you got back and you watched that tape. South Carolina played a pretty unique defense. Um, starting off in the beginning of the game, they were up behind the gaps. We knew they were going to have pretty good ball pressure on us, and you know they did it the whole game. But they were so far up in the gaps, and they were whipping screens, you know, going under a ball screen. So it was tough for you know, myself and my teammates to be able to get in the paint in front of the people. I mean, like, so you got to tip your hat to them. They're a great team. But you said in the preseason we had a long time talk about consistency, efficiency, where your buzz were. Right. You know, a game like that, would you kind of, how, how did you take it maybe as compared to how you would have earlier in your career if you went two for 13 or whatever it was? Do you take it differently at all? Yeah, for, for me, you know, after that game, or even throughout the game, you know, I just try to stay as positive as I could. You know, I mean, I can't dwell on it. It's not going to help things at all. The surprising thing, I mean, we were shot, what, 19%, and it was an eight-point game 10 minutes ago. So it's like, we're right there. Um, obviously, the ball just didn't bounce our way. Like I said, they're a great team. Um, but I just think it was huge for myself and the team to be able to bounce back today. You know, for me, hitting the first three shots I took today was huge for me. Um, I don't know if I'd be able to do that a couple years back. But, you know, just give them credit to my teammates and myself to have that confidence. Did you come out hunting? Yeah, definitely. I came out hunting. Um, I, it was a huge release to that first and go in because, you know, I was, I was in the gym earlier today, you know, making sure I'd be able to hit my shot. So it was good. You guys had twice as many threes in just the first 10 minutes today compared to what you had in the whole game the last yeah, one. Uh, I mean, two threes in the South Carolina game. I mean, who would ever thought of that? You know, shooting 7%, 19% in the field. Like I said, they only lose that game by 15. I mean, we should have lost by 30 points, especially on the road. So like I said, there was so much to learn from that game. I think we did. You know, that team played a different defense than we thought they would. And uh, we just had to learn from everything we did. And I thought we did that tonight. We came out and applied it. What you see from this group going through that week of the highs of New York to the lows, lows of South Carolina? Early in the season, that's kind of a big emotional spike. I th that's what I, I liked about our group. You know, we were um, we tried not to get too high. Obviously, everyone was happy being in the garden, winning the championship. You know, that was huge for us, just to be able to set the tone for the season. But then after we lost South Carolina, you know, guys really didn't have their heads down. You know, we, we kind of felt like we beat ourselves that game. And, and everyone just played with a chip on their shoulder. We knew uh, we're going to get everybody's best shot. And that's what South Carolina gave us, and we can't take any money lately. What was your schedule today like with the football game? I'm, you know, you guys probably watched that. Yeah, we woke up uh, around 10 or 11. We had film and a little walkthrough for about an hour, and then uh, guys were able to go back. And you know, we went back to our apartment, and watched the first half, and the second half we all watched here in the locker room. So obviously, you know, the football team had a, had a tough loss. You know, Ohio State's a great team. So hopefully things work out. Maybe we'll be able to sneak in the playoff. Who knows? Where are you right now on? Um, Balancing, forcing things versus letting the game kind of kind of come to you. Yeah, I'm just trying to find that sweet spot. You know, it's early. I mean, teams are playing me differently. Some teams are fighting over ball screens. Some teams are going under. So it's tough for me to really get in the paint and find people. You know, I was watching film and the coaching staff. You know, sometimes the ball sticks too much. Sometimes I'm not shooting when I need to. So you know, I'm just I'm just trying to find that sweet spot. Like I said, you know, when to take them and when not to. And I thought I did a decent job for that tonight. You know, I always know there's going to be opportunities right now. Does that kind of go for the whole? Team at, as, a, as a whole, in terms of it seems like the amount of threes being taken maybe relates to not making the extra pass or guys just kind of taking it instead of that's what you guys really had quick in, in New York, always making the extra pass. Yeah, I like, like I said, we, we try not to let the ball stick. You know, I know definitely with me, I wasn't able to see the court as well as I wanted to against South Carolina. You know, I was turning over the ball a lot more than what I want to be. You know, I don't want to have eight turnovers in the game which was tough to see. But like I said, I went back and watched the film and learned from it. You know, I showed that today. Um, like I said, teams are going to play us differently. I'm going to get our opponent's best shot. You know, I'm going to get their best player on me every game. So I just got to be ready for it.